We recently profiled a true rarity in this business, a SPAC play that's actually worth owning. I'm talking about Bolero. It's B-O-W-L-E-R-O. The company that's rolling up the bowling industry via a series of small acquisitions, you might recognize them as Kramer Fade Bowlmore or AMF, to a bunch of them. Unlike nearly every other post-SPAC stock, Bolero is genuinely profitable. And they're consistently beating expectations as they came public, including last month when they put a fantastic quarter. After that story, the company asked if they could come on because I profiled it. And you know what? I just couldn't say no. Are you kidding me? The stock's already given us a quick 12% gain since we highlighted it last week. We were happy to oblige. So let's check in with Tom Leo Shannon in the founder. He's the founder and CEO of Bolero to get a better read on his business. Mr. Shannon, welcome to Man Bunny. Thank you, Jim. Nice to be here. Yeah, now, he's got that. This is what I do, too. I mean, look, we are, when we bowl, we're somebody special. And I real feel, really feel that way. And I think you can tell us the bowling experience cha- changes and is the best way for all generations to have parties and get together, particularly after the after COVID. It's so true. I mean, one of the few things uh, that exists that's all things to all people is bowling. We get young bowlers, elderly bowlers, rich, poor, you name it, everyone bowls, Jim. Great equalizer. Yes. Now, one of the things that you've done, it is truly incredible. You have same store sales revenue growing at 33% on the same basis. So when you take over a bowling alley, you must make it so that it has become the thing to do in the neighborhood. Well, we really like to have a service-intensive experience. Look, people's time is precious. Right. Usually they have more money than leisure time. So when they come into one of our facilities, we want it to be a great experience, a great aesthetic, uh, great food, beverage, and a service-intensive environment so that when they come, they're really getting the most for their time invested. Now, I have to I mean, I'm not, I'm not a spokesman for you, but yes, that's been my experience every time I've gone, which is why I like to throw my parties bowling. Thank you. Now, let me ask you something. You have decided, as a SPAC, to clean up and get rid of the warrants and make it so that I actually know the share count. I was with some of the Saturday, and, I asked, and they asked me, says, do you know how many shares there are of X? I'm not going to mention it, because I'm, I'm big at it. He had no idea, because there's warrants here, there's different crazy. You've decided to make this look like a real company. Well, we were super bullish on the stock, and we thought, look, we're going to blow through 1150 pretty quickly. So we were able to purchase uh, a, a pretty big slug of those, and then we did a conversion uh, into shares, but simultaneously we bought back 3.4 million shares. You're, are there any other SPACs that did that? Oh, I don't, I don't know. I can't find it. Just you know, I couldn't find it. Yeah. Now, who is who? I know that you have a man who worked with Comcast on your board, yeah. who was our CFO, and oh, he's a tough guy. So you've got some. This is Michael Angel You have people on your board again who care passionately about shareholders and making money, not just for the people who promoted it. Well, we have a great board, and and uh, they really believe in the company and its vision. And we started with one bowling alley right here in Union Square. I bought that back in '97. You'll like this, Jim. I paid three thousand down and two million borrowed. I only had three thousand. We turned it into the highest grossing bowling alley in the world. We went from $1 million losing money to $15 million, and now we have 323 bowling alleys all across the country. Now, there are many, many more bowling alleys that you could, I hate the term roll up, to be honest, that you could purchase and make even better. How about that? Well, I agree. Uh, yeah, so about 3,500 independently owned and operated bowling centers in the U.S., right? Most of the proprietors are elderly, and we are, right. frankly, their retirement. Right. Right. You're the way they can they can cash out and you can do better. Correct. Now, how about the, the bowling association, the PBA? Is there money to be made there? Um, maybe. And, and we're Not clear, right? But well, you will. The PBA? Yeah. Well, we're making money now and I think we'll do well. We're, we're negotiating now on an extension of our rights agreement. And uh, yeah, that's that's great. But what it really is, is an infomercial. So we reduced our marketing expense by 10 million dollars through ownership of the PBA, and it pays us a million dollars. We've spent $11 million to buy the PBA. We've reduced our marketing expense by $10 million, and we still make a million dollars profit on the PBA as a standalone business. That is very good. Now, how much team building and corporate building is there at Bull Era for for AMA? Uh, The the event business is a big part of our business. So through uh, June of this year, our fiscal year ends in June, uh, our revenue was about $911 million. Okay. EBITDA was $316.4 million, 35% EBITDA margin consolidated. $200 million of that, thereabouts, is events. So the event part of our business is quite large. Now, uh, how much of it is league? 
A league? Well, league's about 90 million plus the food and beverage associated with the league. Uh, and what's the split? I look, when we go, no one gets sloppy drunk, honestly. I think you'd probably kick us out if you did. But there's a very nice amount of alcohol consumed. It's a pretty good margin there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it depends on the league. Some are drinking leagues and some are more serious leagues. But call it another $40 million of food and beverage associated with the leagues, about $130 million. Now, the something I was talking about that is, is ethereal between you and me when we first started. There is a sense that you can be, I, I don't want people laughing at me because anybody who's a serious bowler knows this, that you can be somebody else when you bowl. An it's, alter ego. Yes. So who's your alter ego? Beethoven. Mm -hmm. Okay. I am the pin at Tom Iser. My name's Tom. And it fits right in. These things matter. I wish people understood how. I mean, look, I, when I heard about your company, I was in shock that I hadn't thought. You know, that we all, I wonder, I had tried to buy a way. Uh, I tried to buy a bowling alley. It's just an unbelievable business. But has it made some sort of comeback versus, say, if you had had kind of a downturn? It seems like it's hotter than ever. It is. And the, really, the comeback started when we started the company in 97. Really, that was, you started to see bowling show up in popular culture, TV shows. Remember, there was, a, was it Ed, I think? He bought a bowling alley, right? He was a lawyer. He was working out of the bowling alley. You see it in TV commercials. We've really reinvested. We've reinvested about $700 million into our bowling center since 2013, since we acquired AMF. We have the best product in every market. But what we really have is a high-quality product and experience and it's completely rejuvenated and reinvigorated bowling. It absolutely is. Now, you've got giant lanes not far from here. Oh, sure. Well, look, we've got uh, uh, a 50 laner in Times Square, a 40 laner in Chelsea Piers, and an 82 laner in North Brunswick, New Jersey. Well, I got to go to the first two. I, I consider myself as a, a, a good customer of because Thank they're you. just so phenomenal. But I got to go around the country. You've got ones out west, too. Sure. Well, uh, California is our biggest market. We have 45 locations in California. Well, look, I've got to congratulate you. I'm so sick of SPACs. I was desperate to try to find one that was good, and it was right under my nose. And I want to thank not Leo, but Tom Shannon, founder and CEO of Bolero. Bowling is so much fun. Man, money's back to the break. Thank you.